Hello again. I'm just going to place this camera. Down. There we go. Okay, so, um, we're still with the raw sienna and we're working on this patio here. I'm going to sit down so that you can see uh, how I'm doing that. Okay, so with some raw sienna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another part to this. patio, okay, and it goes something like this, and then it goes again, all right, some more curvature to that. So that top of the um, patio, it kind of connects to this building and it goes back a little bit and see it has these poles on the other side. See the kind of perspective that I'm... So if you're looking this way, you won't see that other side until you actually move there. Alright, so I will continue it further like this. Okay. improve the kind of symmetry on that because uh, it is done freehand, right? But you also have to make it so that it's pleasant to the eye. Now, with a little black, just get some linseed oil on here to kind of loosen up the paint. Okay, I'm going to have some metal beams going, you know, through this. Connecting these. Uh, wood panels 
And again, if you're looking for symmetry, perfect symmetry, uh, it ain't going to happen because it says freehand. probably you already figured right there. So we got a bit of a um, now we're gonna put this kind of beam kind of goes on top. using black to do this, just in case I didn't mention it earlier. something tells me to add another beam here. Just might look a little bit more present. And you, know, you get these kind of ideas come up to you while you're kind of in the Just gonna dip it in the solvent. I'm just drying up my brush here um, because what I'm trying to do is pick up some of this uh, yellow ochre to kind of blend in this part here. to give the uh, maybe you know what maybe I'll have them go through this one will be on the top of these ones you know so that way it just goes through the uh, wooden panel and again I'll be defining them as we kind of go along here So you see that? Okay. All right. Um, I'm just going to leave that a bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is with some black, I'm going to have a tree. Uh, so we have more reflections in the water. It's going to be a huge uh, tree. Uh, it's going to go this way. So uh, what I'll do is um, because it's going to be a big tree, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up 
this brush here and dry it up first. So first things first, uh, make sure you dry the um, brush after you take it out of the solvent. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some black because this is going to be a big tree, so I, that's why I picked up a bigger brush. Just, you know, we're going to have a huge branch going this way. Okay. And you see how already I haven't done anything with this black, it's giving, it's adding more realism to the painting itself. 